Well, I'm running this uh, Lasco heater. Now, you think some of these space heaters are probably pull 11, 1200 watts. It went up initially like eight or 900 watts. It's leveled off to 511 watts. Now, it, it in the last eight to 10 minutes has dropped a couple percent, couple percent of battery. So, 2% every eight to 10 minutes. So, you're looking at 15, 20% of battery in half hour could drop. But uh, it's basically, you know, I'm trying to bring the battery down so I know everything discharges right and it will come back up okay. Um, I will probably not drop it all the way tonight because it's raining outside. I don't feel like running a power cord for my charger converter. I mean, I could do that. I mean, if I was an RV park, I'm in my dad's driveway. I just don't feel like doing it right now. But um, this thing will warm this room up. I've gone up five degrees in the last 10 minutes. I mean, it's on max. This thing's max probably 85, 90 degrees. This thing can drop some power. Now, my thing is, I don't know why I went from 900 watts to 500, but I got a 3,500 water inverter in this thing. And this thing, it, if it can't handle that, something's wrong. So this is uh, just trying to look at its power consumption this thing, because this is a cool heater. I've had this Lasco heater you get at Walmart forever. And my dad and them use it inside the house for a little bit, but um, let's see if we can get some power. Ah, uh, tilted it. Kicks it off when you tilt it. Come on. A farfic nugan, sorry, it's got a safety feature at tips. And when it kicks in, the lights kind of it goes right up to 900 watts pull initially, hypes up 915 max, and then it just levels off right about 500 watts, I guess. Interesting. Let's see here. Let's get a reading on this thing. It is not telling me anything. I'll have to look at it later because I don't see the readings. It's probably on the bottom where it always is. But I can get another one of these heaters because I haven't been using it. Man, it warms this room up. Whew. It's already 70 degrees in here. It was 62 when I walked in here. This little space heater warmed the room up. So, so I went from 100, about 7 amp hours dropped off the battery in the last 12 to 15 minutes. It's not a bad deal. It's good for running it every 10 minutes. It, you know, you don't want to run this thing long term. You just don't want to do that with a, with a space heater. Because it's 120 volt and you run off your inverter. Um, until they can make a really cool 12 volt heater like my... That doesn't run fuel like my air conditioning. It would be cool. Um, in fact, you probably can. You've got them in your car. So, I actually talked to Chris at Cruising Comfort about... Why don't y'all come up with a nice heater like you got in the car? Still want to do me some research on that because the ones in the car, your, your heaters are 12 volts. So it's got to be one at some point that does it. Now, heaters tend to run more current than an air conditioning, but it's 12 volt. So there's a thought. Just a thought about heaters, man. If you're thinking about getting a little electric space heater, if you have enough battery bank and you just run it five, 10 minutes at a time, if you've got, you know, something charging it, you can crank your vehicle up. It can boost your batteries back up with alternator charging. You've got options. So. It's uh, it's pretty cool. That's my take on testing an electric heater in my van. And I've got 200 amp hours of battery power and a 3,500 watt inverter. So there you have it, my friends.